Hi, little gators. Today I'm playing in the park with my dog, Buddy. <coughs> ah! Wow, rats. Buddy ran off, and now I don't know where he is. Hey, little gator. You look worried. Do you need some help? Yes, officer. I'm Gusty Gummy Gator, and I'm looking for my dog, Buddy. He just ran off so fast, and, and now I can't find him. Give me that yummy gummy. I'm Gus the Gummy Gator. Nice to meet you, Gus. I'm Police Officer Sanders. And this is my canine partner, Rocky. <coughs> we can help you find your lost buddy. You can? Woohoo! Your dog looks like he can run really fast. So catching up to Buddy should be easy. Actually, Gus, Rocky can use his nose to track Buddy's scent. <coughs> Do you have anything that smells like Buddy? That's so cool! Uh, all I have is his favorite ball. That's perfect, Gus. Oh, looks like he found something. He's telling us to go that way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Look, Officer Sanders, Rocky found some paw prints on the ground. I think they're buddies. I think you're right, Gus. Let's follow them and see where they lead us. Oh, buddy, it's you. I've been looking for you all over the place. Look, Gus, it's another dog. I think he just wanted to play with her. You're right, officer. Thanks for letting Rocky help me find Buddy. No problem, Gus. Attention, Officer Sanders. We need someone out at the school right away to help with a busy crosswalk. School lets out in 10 minutes. Did you hear that, Gus? They need me at the school. Do you and Buddy want to come with me in my police car? I've never ridden in a real police car before. Let's do it. That's so cool. I wish I had a police car too. Well, Gus, this is what police officers drive while they're on duty. If you go to be a police officer, you'll have one too. Now, yeah, rats, do you think we're going to make it to the school on time? Don't worry, Gus. We have plenty of time. But in cases of emergencies, our police cars are built to go really fast so we can respond quickly. Looking good! Okay, Gus, let's get to the school. Hey, that's a school bell. That means school's over, and a lot of kids will be walking home. You're right, Gus. I'm here to help kids cross the street safely and to let drivers know when to slow down. Hey, I see my friends walking over there. <coughs> Whoa, there, little gator. Not so fast. It's important to only cross the street at crosswalks and to always be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, rats. I didn't notice I wasn't on the crosswalk. Thank you, Officer Sanders. You saved my tail. Be sure to look both ways before crossing the street. Looks like your friends know it's a great idea to cross the street in groups when possible. Thank, Thank you, Officer! No problem, kids. And good job for walking. It's the safest way to cross the street. Looking good. Officer Sanders, we got a call about a kid named Peck who got lost when he went out in the woods. We need you there right away. Did you hear that, Gus? Someone needs our help. This is an emergency, so we need to go now. Oh, no. I think that's my friend Peck. Let's go. Whoa. What's that really loud noise I'm hearing? That's the siren. During emergencies, we turn these on to let people know they should clear the road. Wow, that's really loud! Wow, we got here super fast! I hope Peck's okay. Come on, Gus, let's go find him. Oh gosh, where am I? Help! Help! Can anybody hear me? Did you hear that, Officer Sanders? The voice is coming from that way. I sure did, Gus. Let's follow the echo. He needs our help. Peck, we found you. Gus, I was just doing some bird watching from home when suddenly I found myself here lost in the woods. Oh, Peck, that's why you have to be aware of your surroundings when you're outdoors. Thanks for finding me, officer. I'll be more careful next time. No problem, Peck. As police officers, it's our job to help kids in need. Come on, we'll take you back home in the police car. Oh gosh, thank you so much. I've never ridden in a real police car before. Woohoo! Police cars are super cool, Peck. Let's go. Hey, 
Here we are, Peck. Back at your house. Thank you for the ride, Officer Sanders. I'm really grateful. No problem, Peck. Next time when you go outside, make sure to go with a parent or an adult. Sure thing, Officer. I have to go find my mom. She must be worried sick. Bye! <coughs> wow, I'm sure glad we helped Peck get home safe. Attention, Officer Sanders. Your shift is over. You're free to come back to the station. Copy that. Hold on a second. Where is that other officer calling you from? They're calling me from the police station. I'm headed that way now. Would you like to come see it? You bet I do! Check it out, Gus. This is the police station. This is where officers come to find out where they'll be each day and where people come to get help. This is so cool! I learned so much today, and now I wish I was a police officer. Tell you what, Gus. Let's see if you have what it takes to pass my quiz. The quiz? Woohoo! Let's do it! Okay, Gus. First question. What do police officers drive while on the job? Is it A, airplane, B, police car, or C, submarine? A police car. That's correct, Gus. Way to go. That's so cool. I wish I had a police car too. Well, Gus, this is what police officers drive while they're on duty. If you go to be a police officer, you'll have one too. Okay, Gus, next question. What's part of a police officer's job? Is it A, keep people safe, B, washing clothes, or C, selling ice cream? That's easy! A. Keep people safe! Right again, Gus. Way to go! Looking good! Here we are, Peck. Back at your house. Thank you for the ride, Officer Sanders. I'm really grateful. No problem, Peck. Next time when you go outside, make sure to go with a parent or an adult. Sure thing, Officer. Okay, it's time for question three. Which animal helps officers find clues? Is it A, a monkey, B, a dog, or C, a unicorn? Hmm. Is it a A, monkey? Sorry, Gus. The correct answer is B, dog. Rats. Rocky can use his nose to track Buddy's scent. <laughs> Do you have anything that smells like Buddy? All I have is his favorite ball. That's perfect, Gus. Oh, looks like he found something. He's telling us to go that way. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, next question. What is the safest way to cross the street? Is it A, walking, B, running, or C, riding a horse? Hmm. Is it B, running? Sorry, Gus. The correct answer is A, walking. Be sure to look both ways before crossing the street. Looks like your friends know it's a great idea to cross the street in groups when possible. Thank you, officer! No problem, kids. And good job for walking. It's the safest way to cross the street. Okay, Gus, this is the final question. Are you ready? Ready! Where should you go if you need help from the police? Is it A, the hospital, B, the zoo, or C, the police station? Hmm. I know. C, police station. That's correct, Gus. You passed the quiz. Woohoo! I knew that was the right answer. Check it out, Gus. This is the police station. This is where officers come to find out where they'll be each day and where people come to get help. This is so cool! Congratulations, Gus. You passed the quiz. Way to go! Thanks, officer. I knew I could do it. It looks like you have what it takes to be a police officer one day. Wow, little gators. Learning how to be a police officer and helping people was so much fun. We even got to ride in a police car. Do you want to be a police officer one day? Looking good. Thanks for watching my show, little gators. Time to go home and eat some gummies! See you next time! Bye! Bye. Wow!
It's such a beautiful day. The sun is out, and I'm walking with my dog, Buddy. <coughs> Nothing could possibly go wrong. Whoa! Did you hear that? Someone's in trouble. Let's go check it out, boy. <coughs> Whoa! Did you guys just put out that fire? Yes, we did. We're firefighters. It's our job to put out fires and to keep people safe. I'm Fire Chief Sparks. Nice to meet you. I'm Gusty Gummy Gator. That was so cool. Could you teach me how to be a firefighter? Sure I can. I will teach you everything you need to know. Come in with me inside. I'll show you everything. Wahoo! Okay, Gus. The first thing you need to know about being a firefighter is the equipment. We firefighters wear special gear to keep us safe. Whoa! What kind of gear? First, it's our helmet. It's very important to wear our helmets to protect us from falling objects. Whoa! That rock just hit your head! Are you okay? Oh, I'm perfectly fine. I told you, this helmet keeps me safe. That's so cool! What else? Next is our air pack. Fires create a lot of smoke, which makes it difficult to breathe. We connect the air pack to our mask so we can breathe in oxygen into our lungs. Whoa, what's happening? Oh no, there's smoke coming in the room. I need to put on my mask fast. Whoa, there was a close one. Yeah, and it's all thanks to my mask. And we can't forget about my flame resistant clothes. I have my coat, my pants, my boots, and my gloves. Whoa! I need these to protect my skin from getting burned. I'll show you. See Gus? I'm okay. Looking good. Hey, who turned off the lights? It's okay Gus, I have my flashlight. Even when it's dark, I can still see. Whoa! Do you always carry that with you? Of course I do. But the lights aren't coming back on. We need to call for backup. Thankfully, I have my radio. This is the Chief, calling any available firefighters for backup. We hear you loud and clear, Chief. We are on our way. We got your message. The power in this room went out. Follow me. OK. Well, the power in this room is on, so you're OK now. Wow, thank you for helping us. Thank you, Lieutenant. Anytime, bye. Check it out, Gus. This is our fire truck. We use this fire truck when there's an emergency going on. Whoa, that's huge. Gus, do you hear that? It's the siren. That means someone needs our help. Can you help us? You got it, Chief. Okay, let's go. It's Peck! Your patio was on fire! What happened? Oh, well, I was just making some organic grilled vegetables when out of nowhere, they all caught on fire! That's when I called for help and you guys showed up! Hey there, little gators! How should we put out the fire? Should we use bubbles, a water hose, or a rubber ducky? Good job! We need a water hose! Quick! We need to put out this fire! I'll go find the water hose, you go find the fire hydrant, okay? You got it, Chief. No! Oh, I found the fire hydrant! Good job, Gus. You found it. Now let's hook it up. It's ready! Let it rip! Whoa! Whoa! We're getting it! We're getting it! All right. We put out most of the fire, but Peck's veggies are still burning, and now there's a big mess blocking our way. Don't worry, Gus. I have my trusty axe to help us clear this mess. Let's do it. There we go. All that's left is the small flame. I'll use my fire extinguisher to put it out. Way to go, Gus. Thank you for helping out. Thank you so much for putting on my burning veggies. 
You guys saved my life! No problem, Peck. Just remember to always be careful around fires, and you only be near them with adult supervision. Chief, someone needs your help at the park. You need to get there right away. Do you hear that, Gus? Someone needs our help. We gotta go now. Okay, let's go. Bye, Peck. Bye, guys. Gus, we need to get to the park quickly. I know. It's too bad there are all these cars in the way. Gus, do you know what to do when you see a fire truck with its sirens on? I know. Move over. You're right. Good job. Fire trucks need to get to the scene fast to prevent fires from spreading. If you're in the car and you see a fire truck with its sirens on, make sure to pull over. Look, Chief. All the cars are clearing the road. I think they heard us. I think you're right, Gus. Full speed ahead. Hey, look. It's Alpha Alexa. Oh, hi, Gus. I'm so glad you came. I was just walking my pet cheetah when suddenly we heard a loud car pass. She got really scared and climbed all the way up that tree. Hey, little gators. What should we use to get Alpha's cheetah down? Should we use a ladder, a rope, or a magic carpet? That's right. We need a ladder. Gus, hop on a ladder. You got it, Chief. Don't worry, Alpha. We'll get your cheetah down. Come here, little buddy. It's okay. I got you. There you go, Alpha. Your cheetah is safe. Aw, oh, thank you so much, guys. I'm so glad she's okay. Anytime, Alpha Alexa. Chief, we got a call from someone who got stuck in their car. We need your help. Gus, someone needs our help. We gotta go, quickly. Okay, let's do it. See you later, Alpha. Bye, Gus. Hey, it's Combo. We got your call. What's going on? Oh, hiya, Gus. My mom and I were about to go grocery shopping, but then Sheldon locked himself in the car, and we can't get him out. Oh, no, little gators. Baby Sheldon is stuck in a car. How do we get him out? Should we call a tow truck? Use a special tool or order pizza. You're right. We need to use a special tool. Don't worry, Sheldon. We'll use this tool to save you. Combo Bunga, you did it! Now that'll show you to not lock yourself in the car with the keys, you little dinosaur. Woohoo! Sheldon is safe! Yeah, and it's all thanks to you. I'm gonna go give him some snacks now. Thank you, firefighters! No problem, Combo. And always remember to never leave anybody in the car without an adult present. You got it, Gus. See you later. Bye. 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 Whoa, that was so much fun helping all those people. It sure was, Gus. But now it's time to put what you learned to the test. If you pass my quiz, I'll declare you a junior firefighter. A quiz? You mean if I pass, I get to become a firefighter? Let's do it. Okay, Gus, first question. What type of vehicle do firefighters drive? A, car, B, fire truck, or C, bicycle? Hmm. I know, B, fire truck. Correct, good job, Gus. Check it out, Gus, this is our fire truck. We use this fire truck when there's an emergency going on. Whoa, that's huge! Okay, Gus, next question. What kind of object do firefighters use to breathe oxygen? A, a helmet, B, an oxygen tank, or C, a snorkel? Snorkel. And wrong. The correct answer is B, oxygen tank. We connect the air pack to our mass so we can breathe in oxygen into our lungs. Whoa, what's happening? Oh no, there's smoke coming in the room. I need to put on my mask fast. Oh, 
Okay, Gus, question three. What do firefighters use to get to tall places? Is it A, ladder, B, trampoline, or C, helicopter? Hmm. That's easy. A, ladder. Correct. Way to go, Gus. Gus, hop on the ladder. You got it, Chief. Don't worry, Alpha. We'll get your cheetah down. Come here, little buddy. It's okay. I got you. Here we go, Gus. Next question. What do firefighters use to put out fires? Is it A, water bottles, B, fire extinguishers, or C, water balloons? Hmm. C, water balloons! Sorry, Gus. That's incorrect. The correct answer is B, fire extinguishers. Oh, yeah. All that's left is the small flame. I'll use my fire extinguisher to put it out. Woohoo! We put out the fire! Okay, Gus, it's time for the final question. Are you ready? Ready! Which of these objects do you see flashing on fire trucks? Is it A, sirens, B, wheels, or C, glow sticks? Hmm. I know! A, siren! That's it, Gus! You passed the quiz! Woohoo! I passed! Yeah! Fire trucks need to get to the scene fast to prevent fires from spreading. If you're in the car and you see a fire truck with its sirens on, make sure to pull over. Look, Chief! All the cars are clearing the road! I think they heard us! I think you're right, Gus. Full speed ahead! Congratulations, Gus! You did it! Way to go! Thanks, Chief Sparks! I'm sure glad you taught me all those things about being a firefighter! Sure, anytime! And for your reward, you earned this badge! And now you're officially a junior firefighter! Thank you, Chief Sparks! I can't wait to show this to my mom! Oh, and that reminds me! Hey, little gators! Do you know what you should do if your clothes catch on fire? That's right! You should stop, drop, and roll! Are you ready to try with me, little gators? So first, you're gonna stop, drop, and then roll. Whoop! Good job, little gators. Whoa, what's that sound? That's a smoke detector. It's beeping because it detects smoke nearby. Hmm, but what could be causing the smoke? Oh, hey, it's Mo. What are you doing here? You were making pancakes and you forgot to turn off the stove? Blah, 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 blah. Mo, you need to make sure you don't leave any burning objects unattended. If you're done using the stove, make sure to turn it off. If you need to turn it back on, make sure to use adult supervision. Blah, 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 blah. You're right, Chief. I'm sure glad we had a smoke detector. Thanks for teaching me how to be a firefighter. I really like learning about all the equipment, and especially riding in a fire truck. Anytime, Gus. And remember, safety first. Well, anyway, little gators, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode and learning about firefighters with me. We had a lot of fun. Now I'm gonna go find Peck so we can eat some food because I'm hungry. See you later, little gators. Bye! Bye. Bye.